Just um, slicing this rhubarb quite roughly, and I've got a nice hot pan there. Before I chuck it in, I'm going to put just a smidgen of garlic in it. I am completely flying by the seat of my pants on this one. Uh, I haven't got a clue what it's going to taste like, um, so I'm, I'm, um, I'm really quite nervous. A touch of olive oil and a touch of butter in this. In goes the rhubarb. I'm going to saute that at the touch. Rhubarb is actually quite um, tart, so I don't want to put sugar in there. I'm just going to put a little bit of this membrio in to sweeten up the, the rhubarb. Paprika? The paprika, yeah. This is again one of the ingredients, one of the uh, it's oak smoked. People tend to think that the... Chef, should show you an easier way? That the actual food is smoked, um, because the smoky flavour really does disperse throughout the whole dish. Chef. What? Start from the head end. Go with the grain. <laughs> go with the grain. Why am I messing up the fish? Yeah, you're going against the rib cage. Always start from the head and go to the grain. Yes, sir. What would you What would you do with your mackerel, Dan? Just keep it simple. I mean, it's got to be eaten fresh. It's got to be stiff. It's got to yeah. be uh, straight out of the water. Are you happy now? Yeah, very much so, chef. Now, how's that? How much <laughs> easier is that, chef? It was slightly easier, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just like having the tail to hold on to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> while While I'm sitting here, I'm prepping the mackerel. And I'm smelling this coming it's a lovely off. Lovely flavour. And I'm actually thinking it. I, 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 I'm starting to feel a little bit more hopeful that it's going to work out. This is some English rose. Uh, it's from a place called Biddenden. Um, this membrio is it, isn't cooked it? down. It's yeah, it's glazed it a little bit. It's actually caramelised a little bit. It's looking really, really nice. This is just going to hopefully take that off a little bit. Provide a little bit of juice. Let me just do this last uh, last mackerel for good luck. Sounds it's very like good for sushi as well as mackerel if it's fresh. You yeah. know, it's like, it's because it is that member of like the, the tuna family, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's is it a member of the tuna family? Yeah, it is tuna. Yeah. So you're finding out some things that I didn't know here. I haven't put the mackerel on the, on the grill yet because mackerel is so quick to cook. It's, it's only really delicious if it's very, very, very quickly cooked. So right now I've got some salt, I've got some garlic, I'm just crushing that. I'm going to make a little dressing. That's where we're going to use some of this. Can you open that for me, please, Rafa? Um, that's where the paprika is going to come in. I'm, again, slightly nervous about the paprika. Although mackerel is a very oily fish, if I just put it straight on the grill, it's a nice hot grill, it will stick. You need to season it well. That's nice and hot. Now, I'll put it on skin side first. The skin will shrink, but if you just give it time, it should relax again. Those, hopefully, won't be on for very long, maybe a couple of minutes each side. You really, really don't want to overcook the mackerel. The dressing that I just made earlier is just going to go on these little red chicory here. Chicory has quite a bitter flavour, so we've got some quite interesting things going on here. We've got the earthiness of the mackerel, there's tartness in the rhubarb, there's bitterness in here. Sometimes when you get a tart flavour and a bitter flavour together, they kind of cancel each other out. I'm going to dress the salad. I'm going to do most of the cooking of the mackerel on the skin side, and that will get a crispy skin. It'll mean that when you flip it over, you only need a couple of seconds on the on the other side, on the flesh side, and then it's going to be done. Time of reckoning is near. Whether or not this goes with the mackerel, I think that's a pretty good thing. See, that's it, the mackerel, very quickly over. Oh, what the hell, there's three of us. Bit of chicory, bit of olive oil, what more do you want? That's quite a cheap lunch. And I think it's a pretty good looking one, actually.